Here is a question for you. If five apples plus nine bananas costs nine dollars and fifty seven cents and nine apples plus six bananas costs ten dollars and eighty cents, then how much will six apples and seven bananas cost? What is the answer to that question? Is it A, nine dollars and nine cents? Is it B, nine seventy two? C, D, or E? What would you say? So feel free to pause the video and take a minute and try this problem if you wish. Now, the way to solve this is to write a list of equations. So the first part of the question helps us to write the first equation. So five apples, let's use A for apples, plus nine bananas costs $9.57. So we're going to say that's equal to 9.57. That's the first equation that we have. Now, we can also write another equation using the second part of the sentence. That is 9 apples, or 9a, plus 6b. That's going to equal 10.80. So what we have here is a system of linear equations. All we need is two equations to solve for two variables. Once we get the values of a and b, then we can answer the third part of the question. So how do we calculate the values of a and b in this equation? We're going to use a process known as elimination. We're going to solve this system of equations by elimination. So we need to decide if we want to cancel A or B. Let's focus on B. Now what we can do is multiply each equation by some number, such that when we add the two equations, the B variables will cancel. So we have 9 and 6. What is the least common multiple of 9 and 6? Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24 and so forth. Multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27. So 18 is, a, is the least common multiple of 9 and 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 because 18 divided by 9 is 2. 18 divided by 3, I mean by 6 is 3. So I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3, but rather by negative 3 because I want positive 18b in the first equation, negative 18b on the second equation, because those two numbers will add up to zero. So let's multiply the first equation by two. So we have 5a times two, which is 10a, 9b times two, which is 18b, and then 9.57 times two, which is 19.14. Now, let's multiply the second equation by negative 3. 9a times negative 3 is negative 27a. 6b times negative 3, that's going to be negative 18b. And then 10.8 times negative 3 is negative 32.40. Now, at this point, we can add the two equations. Starting with the first column, we have positive 10 plus negative 27. That's the same as 10 minus 27. So that's going to give us negative 17, and then times A. Positive 18B plus negative 18B, that adds up to 0, so they cancel. Thus, this is called the elimination method, because we eliminated one of the variables from the two equations. Now, add in the last two numbers, 19 point 14 plus negative 32 point 40 this is going to give us negative 13 point 26 now to get a by itself we need to divide both sides by negative 17 so a is going to be negative 13 point 26 divided by negative 17 so the cost of each apple is 78 cents. 
So now let's determine the cost of a single banana. So let's use the first equation before we multiplied it by 2. So we're going to use this part of that equation. So let's replace A with 0.78 and let's calculate the value of B. So 5 times 0.78, that's going to be 3.9 or you could say 3.90. Now our next step is to subtract both sides by 3.9. So we're going to get 9b is equal to, now let's subtract 9.57 by 3.9. And this will give us 5.67. Now the next thing we need to do is divide both sides by 9. So b is going to equal 5.67 divided by 9, which is 0.63. Therefore, the cost of each banana is 63 cents. So before we get the answer, let's make sure that the work we've done so far is correct. So let's make sure that 5 apples plus 9 bananas cost $9.57. This will tell us that this information is correct. So 5 times 78 cents plus 9 times 63 cents. Is that equal to $9.57? So 5 times 0 0.78, that's 3.9. And 9 times 0 0.63 is 5.67. So adding 3.9 and 5.67, gives us 9.57. So those two values satisfies the first equation. Now let's make sure that it works for the second equation. So nine apples, that's going to be nine times 78 cents plus six bananas, six times 63 cents. Let's see if that's equal to $10.80. So 9 times 0.78, that's 7.02. 6 times 0.63 is 3.78. 3.78 plus 7.02 is 10.8. So both equations have been satisfied by these values. So we know that they're correct. So now that we have the cost of each individual apple and each individual banana, we can now calculate the cost of six apples and seven bananas. So that's going to be 6A plus 7B. A is 0.78 and B is 0.63. So six times 78 cents. That's $4.68. And then 7 times 63 cents is $4.41. So now add in 4.68 plus 4.41. This gives us $9.09. .09. .09. So that is the cost of 6 apples and 7 bananas based on the information that was given to us. So therefore, answer choice A is the correct answer. So now you know how to solve a problem like this. This is just one of the applications of systems of equations and solving it by using the elimination method. There's also another method called the substitution method. Now for those of you who want more examples on how to solve system of equations with not just two variables, but even three variables, I'm going to post a few links in the description section below this video, so feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. So that's it. That is the end of this video. And for those of you who haven't subscribed already to this channel, I mean, if you actually like this video, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And also while you're at it, click on that notification bell to receive updates on any future videos that 
I'm going to post soon. So thanks again for watching this video.